in essence, every cell in our body has the same DNA sequence, but the DNA isn't exactly the same. In every cell, it's painted with different chemicals, which tells each cell what genes are most important to their function. All these different chemicals make up a code called the epigenetic code. Researchers study the role of epigenetics in normal development and in different diseases by analysing DNA from thousands of individuals at the same time. In order to study the epigenetic code, we need to be able to pick out those different bits of the DNA that are painted with different colour chemicals. And the way we do that is using antibodies. Now, antibodies are just molecules that recognise another molecule and stick to it. They're like a molecular glue. And these antibodies could all bind to different chemical markers or chemical paint. This method, called DNA immunoprecipitation sequencing, has been crucial for our understanding of epigenetics. However, researchers have now discovered a serious flaw in the method. So yes, this was a very unexpected finding. Um, when we went back to the literature, we found that lots of epigenetic marks that should be occurring in different places in the genome, in different cells, was always occurring in exactly the same place. And this made us slightly suspicious that these weren't real marks that we were seeing, but an error of some sort. So for this study, I analyzed the data from over 125 datasets to see if there's any reproducible errors that we can identify. And as we dug deeper using bioinformatics and high throughput sequencing analysis, we found that this was the case. That antibodies that are specific to one epigenetic mark were also putting, pulling down specific parts of the G DNA sequence that had no epigenetic marks on them at all. And this error has been quite large in some data sets um, and needed correcting in previous studies. There's two major implications, one at the level of epigenetics researchers like myself, and that's that we need to go back to the data we published using these techniques and make sure it's correct, and if not, correct for those errors and see if we can make new discoveries from the research we've already done. We also need to be more careful going forward to make sure we correct for this error or use other techniques that don't have this error. On the broader scale, there's a more important implication, and that's to do with big data. In the age of personalized medicine, we're generating huge amounts of genetic data for thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of individuals. Too much data for any human to analyze themselves. So we write computer programs to analyze the data for us. Now that's very powerful, but by taking away the expert knowledge of the scientists, it is possible for large errors to creep in and be pervasive across the entire data set. So going forward, we need to be more careful. Despite using these modern techniques, we need to use the good old fashioned approach of cynicism, skepticism, caution, and control when doing our experiments.